Today, we're talking terrestrials. I am going to tie the S-B-E. What is that? Simplest beetle ever. And it caught this fish. Ooh. Nice guy. Got him. Yes. Ooh. There we go. Oh, that was an explosion. Wow, he wanted that, didn't he? Crushed to the beetle. That's a brown. You just get that in the right lane and he absolutely killed it. Yeah, I did. In order to tie this bug, you really only need three materials. Uh, and it could be four if you tie the deluxe model, which we're going to tie here today. But it is a super quick, super simple tie, which is why I call it the SBE. As you can see, the fish absolutely love it. To start off with, we are tying on a uh, Tiemco 2487 hook probably see that uh, I like that rounded back scud shape because it gives me a wider gap for a beetle if you tie it on a standard dry fly hook that's fine uh, you could tie it on a flat dry fly hook too beetles are round they're bulbous they're kind of big this gives me a big gape on my hook and so that's why I like to tie it this way thread I'm just using Danville's 3 aught waxed monocord you can see super simple easy Bug. You don't have to worry about being super fine, even though it's a dry fly, it's a terrestrial. I'm going to wind that on, tie it off, and then clip it. In terms of materials, it is simply black closed cell foam. And if you're tying in a size 10 like I'm tying here for the bigger beetles, uh, you're going to cut it about a quarter inch wide, and you can change the width or the shape of this depending on the size of the beetle that you're tying. Uh, for this one, quarter inch wide will do just fine. And as I start, I'm going to take and clip the sides of about half a hook length or a hook length of the foam. So you can see I've clipped those off. This is where I'm going to attach this to the hook. You can actually even round it if you want to. But I'm going to leave the back part of that, back piece of this, so I can tie it in to the hook itself. So I'll start on top, place the foam on top, one wrap to lock it down, and then wrap your way back. Now again, you can see I've got a little bit of this wide square piece in the back because I do want to tie that down to the hook. That's what's going to help me get that back round shape on my beetle. So I'm going to tie back just on top of the gouge or the barb and then wrap forward, lock all this stuff down. Foam can have a tendency to spin on you, uh, which is why I like to tie that a little bit narrower and clip that piece up front. Next, next material, Semperfly uh, straggle legs. These things are awesome. I told you a lot of people like to tie in the peacock hurl. The problem with peacock hurl is if you get it caught, then if a you know, fish tooth catches it, you nick it on a rock, peacock curl pops out, the whole bug is gone, or you have to pull that one out, and then you risk tearing it apart. With these straggle legs, you literally tie it in, and it is bulletproof. Simply put it on top of the hook, lock it in, and this is thin enough stuff that you can now build the body size that you want. And so this is great material. It is super buggy looking. Uh, absolutely love this stuff. And so it's perfect for this simple, simple beetle. You're going to wrap this forward. You can stroke it back a little bit. Keep those clean. But you see you get that buggy look with those legs from the straggle legs here. You're going to get a nice shine off of this as well. Uh, you can build it out going forward if you want to a little bit, kind of build that body. But remember, beetles kind of narrow as they get towards the head. And so you get super buggy looking legs on there with this. Super easy material to tie in, just like tying in chenille, and that's it, clip that off. Then as you come up forward, we are now going to just pull this body over the top like you would on any beetle. You can see I'm leaving this space back here, I'm leaving that gap in the hook because I love having that extra gap for hook sets, especially with big foam bugs like this. I've tied up to just behind the eye, give myself a little bit of room, I'm going to go over 
and then get underneath it and pull up. Now, you can over tighten this bug, uh, and if you do, you will cut through that foam. So give yourself a couple wraps, one wrap on top, and then back down. So you've essentially just created that body there for your beetle, you got the head coming off, and you can tie it one of two ways. I'm gonna leave this one square. If you butt your scissors up against the hook eye, and then snip, that will give you a good head on your beetle. And then I like to take off the corners here. You don't have to, not essential. But the front corners just kind of give it more of that tapered look. Look more like a beetle up front. So lock it in with a couple wraps. You see it'll cinch that down. And then I'm going to tie in silly legs. These silicone legs work really well for these beetles. As I said, terrestrials tend to stay in your box a little bit. And so silly legs are great for this. I'm gonna tie, just like you would any other rubber leg material, tie enough that you have a little bit of excess coming off the back. One loop in, and you can lock it down. And then I'm going to loop that around and tie it off the front making sure I have enough excess that I can cut these to size. One loop in, lock that off, and you're essentially good to go. Now here's what makes this the deluxe piece, is that I'm gonna give myself a cider piece of foam on top for siding, and this is the orange, you know, again, just closed cell foam. You can just tie a little, you know, cut a little piece like this, little sliver of foam so that you can see it. You don't want too much because this will get overpowering uh, and will make this a little top heavy for when it lands. So tie that in, a couple wraps down. Get those silly legs off my bug. You can cut those before if you'd like to. And then lock it down. All I'm gonna do is clip out this foam, keep my scissors flat. Gives you a nice cut there, nice orange cider on top so that you can see it. You can make it whatever color works best for you. If you like chartreuse or if you like red, you can do that as well. You could also do it with Zelon if you wanted to. But I will take now and cut these legs, slide them into position where I want them. I see a lot of guys that, that like to put them up even with the foam and that's fine. Um, I like them underneath the foam. I want this bug to land hook down, obviously, to make sure that happens because it's a lot of foam on top, a lot of weight. I like to put these legs just underneath the foam, in between the foam and the legs underneath, or the body underneath. And so for the front, I will take those legs, pull them out, and clip them just in front of the eye, leaving enough room. I'd rather miss a little long than short. You can always clip them shorter on the river. And coming back, I'll do the same thing. Just pull them back. I want these to extend beyond the hook shank in the back. Because remember, beetles have those, you know, tend to have those long legs. So about you know a length of the hook back from the hook shank is where I'll clip these out and end up positioning them where you want them on the bug. Stretch and pull them, just don't break them because they will break just like any other rubber leg. But pull them to where you want them, get them in shape, and then you're there. Literally, all you have to do is whip finish. And that beetle is done. Got your thread. So that's it, simplest beetle ever. As you see, if you get your materials prepped, you can knock out a bunch of these in a half an hour. You could probably have a dozen done in 24 minutes if you're super efficient. But give yourself an hour, knock out a dozen, and you are ready to go next time you're fishing terrestrials. Appreciate you watching. As you saw on the show, these things work. Uh, they are great anytime fish are eating beetles. Subscribe, smash that thumbs up button. Please leave us a comment down below. We would love to hear from you. We've got a lot more fishing coming up we'd appreciate it if you would share our videos out so thank you very much for watching and until next time i will catch you on the next piece of familiar waters